The ancient history of the Indian subcontinent witnessed a lot of power shifts in the early historic period. One of the most significant kingdoms of the subcontinent was the Mauryan Kingdom. It was founded by Chandragupta Maurya and then later expanded by Ashoka who took the majority of the subcontinent under his rule. The Gujarat region in specific came under the Mauryan rule during the reign of Ashoka. This is evidenced by the Girnar and Sopara rock edicts which prove that Gujarat, Saurashtra and the North Konkan seaboard came under the rule of Ashoka. Ashoka's rock edicts are spread throughout the subcontinent marking up the territory of the Mauryan kingdom. The Mauryan rule in Gujarat ended during the reign of Samprat, who was the grandson of Ashoka in around 200 BC. Ashoka particularly used the rock and pillar edicts not only to list diplomatic success but also to share life lessons for citizens based directly on Buddhist dharma. Ashoka mentioned the edicts as inscriptions of the dharma and they try to offer solutions for many social, political and philosophical issues that a large and complex society like the Mauryan kingdom faced. As such, they were very different from the propaganda inscriptions of other contemporary ancient empires like Persia and Rome in the West. The rock inscription at Girnar not only marks the Mauryan territory through the 14 edicts but also marks the rule of the Shatraps as well as the Gupta Empire. The same rock bears an inscription which talks about all the victories of the Shatrap ruler Rudradaman and mentions the repairs done by his government to the Sudarshan lake which was constructed by the Mauryans. Further additions were also made to this inscription during the reign of Skandagupt of the Gupta Empire, talking about more repairs made to the lake. This rock inscription not only shows that this region was ruled by these three important empires, but is also important to study the development of the Brahmi script that took place over this large span of time. Kapar Kodia Caves 
are Buddhist caves from the time of the Emperor Ashoka, which can be gathered from the scripts scribbled on some of the walls throughout the caves. After the War of Kalinga, Ashoka converted to Buddhism and used the religion to maintain political diplomacy throughout the subcontinent. Traces of connection between Buddhism and trade started becoming apparent during his reign, while trade, in turn, was an important policy of the Mauryans to encourage diplomacy with the Seleucids and the Parthians to avoid conflict with them. This strategy was already encouraged by Kautilya in the Arthashastra text. But all these aspects became entwined during Ashoka's rule and Buddhism stayed linked with both angles. Thank you.